Bombshell on us with regards to the announcement of um, making redundant two and a half thousand positions in Talbot and 300 further down the road at Plumwine. They're talking about both blast furnaces closing by the end of the year, so that ends hundred and odd years of virgin steel making in South Wales. Perhaps you think, oh, we can bring it in from abroad, but we see through COVID the issues we had with bringing stuff into the country. If we got four or five thousand contractors working on outside. They will lose their jobs as well, not including the small businesses in the community. It would decimate the area, it would decimate the economy around South Wales. Night's evidence shows that Tata is a cash rich company. It is astronomical what funds Tata have available to them. I believe at, at high level it was three billion. No steel worker says we haven't got a transition to a greener industry, yeah? but the way we do that is important. Green steel demand is set to grow tenfold in the coming years. Um, we need to be able to meet that demand. We could be the green capital of Europe or the world. We could be making our own wind turbines with British steel made in South Wales and the economy next to us. And that's how you can grow jobs because yes, electric arc might be a smaller need for jobs, but you're creating industries around it, well paid jobs that can take them their members on. I was brought up in, in an ex-mining community up the valleys and yeah, I had to travel to work 27 mile each way um, because that's where the opportunity for me to um, yeah, pursue my career was. The, the, the opportunity didn't exist in my locality. It's massively important for the local economy and the wider economy in South Wales. We're only the custodian of the jobs. There's seven, eight-year-olds out there in primary school now. Where are they going to get a job? We've done everything over the years. We've given out pension, we've gone about pay rises, we've done absolutely everything to work with the company and keep it. So they're very angry. First, we need to ballot our members, but yeah, we would go all the way up to one, including strike action. Unite! Unite! We stand up and we fight! Yes. Unite! Unite! We stand up and we fight!